Hello volunteers! First and foremost, we would like to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to volunteer with us. Today, we will be walking you through a few key informational pieces you will need to know before working your shift. Let's get started. First, if you haven't received it already, you will be receiving a packet of information in the mail. This packet will include shift information, a gate ticket to the fair, a parking map, a t-shirt if you ordered one, and some frequently asked question sheets. If you register after July 16th, your packet will be sent electronically and you will pick up a t-shirt when you arrive for your shift. There are three places available for parking as outlined on the map you received in your information packet and via email. State Fair parking is now $10. One option is parking in the infield on the State Fairgrounds. This parking costs $10 and you can use the tunnel to leave the infield and head towards the glass barn. The second option is in the Deaf School lot north of 42nd Street. This parking also costs $10 and is recommended for our volunteers because of the easy access. If you choose to park in the 42nd Street lot, enter through gate 12, then head for the glass barn. The third parking option is free and is located just on 46th Street. You will need to walk to gate 12 near the glass barn. On the day of your shift, we ask that you wear the official Bean Team t-shirt. You can wear any kind of pants or shorts, just make sure you wear comfortable shoes because you will be walking and standing on the concrete floor for the duration of your shift. These guidelines will be followed due to COVID-19 protocols. These regulations are subject to change, so be sure to visit the Indiana State Fairgrounds website prior to your volunteer shift for the most up-to-date information. Keep in mind that the fair is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays in an effort to deep clean the exhibits for the safety of our guests, staff, and volunteers. When you arrive, meet Katie Starkey, the volunteer coordinator, near the welcome booth or in the back room through the sliding door. Katie will greet you and give you your glass barn apron with your supplies inside. Once you arrive, we will assign you to a specific task in the glass barn, but do let us know if you have a preference. Please try to arrive 15 minutes early to your shift and remember to allow more time to park on weekends. Now we will talk a little bit more about the tasks you could be doing this year. Bingo starts at the ISA booth where guests will pick up cards and pencils to begin their experience. Once guests return their completed bingo card, they can bring it back to the ISA booth where a volunteer will check for correct answers and present a glass barn hat for completing the card with correct answers. Our youngest visitors will get to punch out tokens and answer questions by placing them into kiosks. Each adult and child can have their own bingo card. If they choose to share a bingo card, make sure that a child is present to receive their hat for punching out the tokens. Therefore, if a child and parent share a card, two hats can be earned. If the hats and cards at the booth start running low, let Katie or one of her team members know so we can restock your supplies. Volunteers at the ISA booth will also be tasked with handing out $1 off coupons to the beef tent, pork tent, or dairy bar. Any person who asks can receive as many coupons as they would like. You will also meet farmers who will turn in a mailer information sheet that looks like this. After they turn in their cards, make sure to give them a free milkshake coupon to the dairy bar. Another place you may be asked to volunteer is at our photo booth called Picture You. As a volunteer, you will assist guests with choosing their photos in the booth. They do this by tapping on the background option that they want and then tapping the trigger the camera option. After they do this, they will have five seconds to pose for the camera to have their picture taken. Next, volunteers will direct visitors to the email kiosk where they can have their photos texted or emailed to them. We ask that volunteers wipe down the email stations every hour with the wipes that are provided and also make sure that the traffic flow at the photo booth is flowing smoothly. This year, we are very excited to announce that we have a new exhibit, the Glass Barn Combine Simulator. This new exhibit will allow visitors to sit in a real-life combine to experience what it's like to harvest soybeans. The simulator consists of a minute and a half long video that the visitor interacts with. A volunteer will be stationed on top of the steps where they will guide each visitor in one at a time. When each turn is complete, the volunteer will direct the visitor down the opposite stairs to prepare for the next visitor in line. Another will be stationed at the bottom of the steps to assist with crowd control.
To accommodate all of our guests, we also have an accessible combine simulator experience at floor level for visitors who may prefer it. A volunteer will be stationed here as well. They will help to guide visitors in and out of the cab and assist those who need it. One final task we may ask volunteers to assist with this year is our glass barn survey. This will consist of simply reaching out to guests and asking them to scan a QR code to complete a survey on their phones. Once the survey is complete, the visitor will receive an electronic voucher on their phone for a free milkshake at the dairy bar. As a volunteer, the most common question you will hear is where are the restrooms? The restrooms are located on the northeast corner of the glass barn and are open to the public. All volunteers will receive a free meal voucher to use at the conclusion of their shift. Katie and her team will have your voucher ready for you. If you want to eat before your shift, come get your free meal voucher from Katie ahead of time. Safety is the number one priority at the Indiana State Fairgrounds and Event Center. Our safety motto is, if you see something, say something. Katie and her team are available to assist should emergency arise. Please report all emergencies by calling 317-927-7520, not 911. As you finish your shift, please wait at your station until a volunteer from the next shift comes to relieve you. Don't forget to arrive 15 minutes early for your shift. If you have any questions, please contact Katie Starkey. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for volunteering to work at the Glass Barn. We look forward to seeing you at the State Fair.